So guys, um, very horrible and sad news coming in. Zav Judah has been hospitalized after uh, there's been bleeding to his brain. Apparently, his last fight, which he lost, um, he had a fight on a Friday night. I think just this Friday, gone and, and Zab Judah lost, I think. And, you know, I've not been keeping a close tab on Zab Judah's career. I know he retired and, and he was out of boxing and then he came and then he come back. I know he made a, he was going to make a return. I haven't been really following his career. You know, his, his comeback hasn't really been publicized. And I don't know if it's on a network or, you know, where he's fighting and who he was even fighting against. But, you know, um, it's really, really sad news. You know, Zav Judah is, you know, a guy that's achieved a lot in the sport, you know, a five-time world champion, you know, a guy that's fought all the top names, all the big names, and he gave them very good fights. Uh, beating a lot of top guys as well. You know, the guy was a really, really good fighter. And, you know, to hear news like this is devastating and heartbreaking, you know, for a fighter of that magnitude. Now, you don't know why he's come back. Is he, is he short of money? We don't know because I heard, I heard things about Zab Judah that he was working as, um, as, as like a nurse, uh, you know, a man, uh, you know, you know, uh, he was, he was working that job in a hospital. He was working, you know, in in a hospital. So, you know, I don't know whether he was short of cash or he was just doing that because he was bored. I, I don't I don't know what the full story is. I haven't really gone into it. But, you know, I, this is what I heard about Zab Judah. Uh, and then obviously I heard he was making a return to the ring. Now, that obviously was surprising because I was like, you know, Zab Judah is not, you know, he's not been active. He's not been fighting. Why is he making a return? You know, we don't know what the reasons why he was making a return, but it's heartbreaking to know that somebody that's achieved so much in the game um, that has come back and now he suffered this bleeding to his brain. And we, what we know is he'll never fight again now because obviously he suffered this horrific in, uh, injury or life-threatening injury. Now we don't know what it is now. I've heard, I've heard, I've seen reports that he's not in a coma, but bleeding to the brain is very, very dangerous. Um, and, you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not somebody that's, you know, into you know, all the medical and stuff. But the thing is, I, you know, it's really heartbreaking when you hear someone's bleeding to the brain. It's very serious and very dangerous. And we just hope that, you know, Zab Judah's okay and Zab Judah's well. Uh, because like I said, um, Zab Judah's been a great champion, somebody that's achieved a lot in the game. And we just hope that Zab Judah can make a speedy recovery. Um, you know, we don't know what, I don't know what, how well he is or how life threatening this this you know the situation is but from what i've read in certain reports they do say it's a life threatening and then in certain you know in certain reports they say he's not in a coma but nevertheless bleeding to the brain like i said is very dangerous so like i said we i wish zab judah all the best you know a guy that i've watched you know in many fights a guy that's achieved like i said a lot in the sport of boxing and we never like to see anybody in the sport of boxing get injured or get hurt that badly and we know the risks that come with boxing this is why when we uh, this is why when you've got you know guys out there journalists and guys that you know work on national television that really degrade fighters and put fighters down it really gets to me because every fighter going in the ring is putting their life on the line for our entertainment yes they're getting paid for it but nevertheless they're still putting their lives on the line and when you hear things like this it makes you numb because especially when it's a uh, you know, a well-known boxer like Zab Judo, like Adonis Stevenson. Adonis Stevenson, thank the, thank God that he gave his first media interview in, in, in public after his serious, you know, uh, injury that he had, you know, to his brain. Um, and sometimes it just makes you, it makes us fight fans aware of how dangerous this game is and what these fighters are actually going through when they go inside that ring so they deserve all the kind of respect that you know that they you know they they get they deserve all respect and i hope for zab judah that he's well he's okay and he can make a speedy recovery because like i said um he was he's definitely been one of the top fighters of this era you know he's achieved a lot five-time world champion and like I said, I wish Jab Judah a speedy recovery. But leave your thoughts, guys. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.